I loved Peggy very much, but the military and my work were my passions and my personal relationships were always in the back seat. I believe all of our issues stem from lack of sex and lack of romance. I am cold hearted, I'm analytical, I have no desire for sex. I'm ashamed of it. We didn't have sex on our wedding night. We never consummated the marriage. Peggy's anger problems are the main issue. Her anger progresses to rage and progresses to physical and emotional abuse. She has hit me, knocked my glasses off while we're driving on the highway. Another time, she hit me and drew blood. This just makes me not want to have sex with her even more. When Peggy and I get into an argument, it'll start off, you're lying. No, I'm not lying. I am honest. Just because you don't believe me doesn't mean I'm Steve, not honest. Steve, you're a liar. She'll say, stupid She'll call me fat, ugly, smelly, scumbag. I know the truth. I know the truth, I'm not too. making this up. And I'm not making it up. And you know up. you're lying. I had the door closed. She didn't like that, and she actually beat the door with a hammer. I was sitting at the computer, and we got in an argument. She got so enraged that she took the computer and threw it on the floor. I put up with it because I do feel responsible. Peggy did move out here. She uprooted everything, and that's why I want to improve on our marriage. I want to make things better. Regardless of the outcome, whether we're married or not, I do want Peggy to be happy. Well, Steve, it's good to meet you. You too, sir. You've been married over 13 years, but since you, you got married, you all have not had sex since the marriage, correct? Correct. You recognize that that statistically is a real anomaly. Yes, sir. Right? When you married her, did you plan for that to be the case? No. Because you said, I thought you were okay with it. I, I'm, I didn't make that comment, but I didn't really think she would be okay with it. But you did say that, no, which was a lie. I did say that. Yeah. Another I, lie. Because I have never, ever, ever been okay with it, and I still am not okay with it from I, day one to today. Yes. So for you to say, I thought you were okay with it, it's okay, a but, lie. But the truth is, you didn't think she was okay with it. No. So yeah. what did you think would happen? I thought we'd just, we would either work on our problems, um, I would work on my problem, um, I would. Well, first, let me, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you, you, you bring up a, a key Apparently, I'm not, since I am interrupting you. <laughs> um, is it a problem for you, or, is, or are you totally okay with it? Because, no. because it's not necessarily a problem if you're okay with it. I mean, if I was by myself, I'd be fine with it. But since we're married, I, I would like to have sex. But you have been okay with it. It's something that hasn't caused you anguish or stress or frustration. It's like you said, I thought you were okay with it. So and that I've tells seen, me you're okay with I've it. I've seen numerous counselors, and finally a counselor told me, well, maybe you're asexual and you just don't like sex. That's not true. And then I said, okay, that's. Steve, excuse me. That's not true. I said that you may be asexual. No, he did too. That's not true. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.